This afternoon, fire almost destroyed a home in New Haven. As the flames quickly spread, family members living there say they barely escaped. News Channel 15's Drew Blair is live at the house now with more on what happened. Well, Heather, fire and water restoration crews are already on the scene here, busily working just hours after fire sparked at this home. Firefighters were first called to the home in the Pinestone neighborhood about 1245 this afternoon. Flames shot from the home as fire crews arrived. Five separate fire departments responded to help control the blaze. Officials say it first started in the garage. The New Haven Fire Department says the homeowner was working on his car when it backfired. That sparked flames that quickly grew out of control. A New Haven fire investigator tells me that a tank of nitrous oxide and the car's full tank of gas both exploded, fueling the fire. Flames spread from the garage to the home's attic. News Channel 15 spoke with the homeowner. He says he did everything he could to put out the fire, but was forced to evacuate. We hit it with fire extinguishers, water, then we got a water hose. It was over. There was no way to stay in. So I yelled at my wife. We got the kids, the dog. My wife got out of the house, fire department. It was less than, I'd say, a minute, minute and a half. The garage was just nothing but flames. There was nothing we could do. The homeowner, his wife, and one child got out okay. The couple's second child was at school when this all happened. And fire officials say the home is not considered a total loss at this time. They do estimate $175,000 worth of damage. Reporting live in New Haven, Drew Blair, News Channel 15.